How do we think, how do you think that we find that thing that we do that makes us not dread going to work on the more in the morning? So in other words, how do we find what we're passionate about? Cause that's, that's a big thing with, with a lot of people that are just graduating college is a lot of times they actually do the job they thought they wanted and they realize, wait a second, like this might not be for me. How do you, how do you find what you should do with your life? I don't think it's that easy. Like, I, I really don't think it's as easy as like, well, just do something you're passionate about because I know a lot of people don't know what they're passionate about. So I think it's number one, find what you're passionate about or find the thing that lights you up. Find that thing that when you do it, you just feel really great and you're excited to do it. And then when it's done, at the end of the day, you look back and go, man, that was so cool that I got to do that thing. So I think that that's step one. Step two, don't think that you need to figure this out today or tomorrow or even next week. Like just because you're graduating from college and some of your friends already have jobs, doesn't mean that you're behind if you don't have one right now. There's a lot of people that aren't going to find a job for a year or two or three. And then there's a lot of people that might not even find a job they enjoy doing ever. But I would say that with the amount of time that you're going to spend in the workplace, which ends up being more time than you're going to spend with your significant other, more time you're going to spend with your family, more time than you're going to spend sleeping. Like a lot of effort needs to be put into doing something that like doesn't make your blood boil. Like at the very least, you shouldn't be going into a job that like makes you just want to quit every single day. And I think that that's such an important thing. I, I know that you need a job to pay the bills and maybe the job that you don't enjoy going to right now is getting you by, but there's no reason that when that job ends, you can't be looking for another job that's going to at least replace that job. Uh, I, I've had jobs myself where I moved from one to another and I got paid a lot less, but I knew that the opportunity was better. So I was taking like a short term pay cut for the long term advancement of my career. And I think there's a lot of people that would just look at the the number they get on their paycheck every two weeks and go, well, I can't leave that. And I understand that. It's, it's a difficult position to be put in, but I think it's important to, if this is the thing that you're going to spend this much time doing, it's important to not hate it. I feel like a lot of people are just afraid of getting out of their comfort zone. They're also afraid of changing, um, going into a new job, like that's scary. Um, is there a time in your life that you like made like a big like switch that was like really terrifying to make? Oh yeah, sure. I moved to a new country for a job. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't, I didn't have a single friend or family member when I moved to the States. And I just knew that on the other side of this was a ton of great opportunities. I was working in Toronto at the time. I was hosting a show called Inside Jam, I was interviewing some of the biggest stars on the planet and my, I was doing a lot of auditions for shows in LA or shows in New York. I auditioned in Times Square when MTV used to have TRL, like the show that Carson Daly hosted. I had all these great opportunities that didn't come to fruition that my agent said, how would you like being an entertainment reporter for the CBS station in Cleveland? That'd be a great way to, for you to like kind of break into the American market. And then who knows what could happen after that? And I was like, well, that's not, you know, what I was thinking would happen. I thought for sure I was going to get one of these jobs in New York or LA, but I was like, yes, let's do this. And let's see where it goes. And then there was all of the unknown that came after that of like, what is this job going to be like? I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. Like what's, what's living in another country going to be like? I don't know. I've been to Cleveland twice for like three days. What's living there going to be like? I guess we'll figure this out. There were so many unknowns, but I went into it with an open mind and just willing to embrace whatever came at me. And I think that just that open mindset really helped the whole situation.